Welcome, welcome, welcome. Today, uh, I want to talk about this topic of broke by choice. How to move from debt to financial independence. As usual, Daniel Plebert is my name and uh, the author of uh, this book and other books as well. Today, I, want, I just want to have a short thing to share with us this day, the 30th of June, 2024. I want to say something here with sincere heart. One of the things I know is um, your salary is very good. This is salary week. And I know your salary is very good. But to be honest, your salary only qualifies you to get a loan, a special salary loans, and other loans where appraisal for the loan is based on the amount you receive as salary. Your salary is also important because it keeps you moving as you work only to pay the drivers or for the taxi, the border -border riders, the landlord of your house the, uh, for feeding, contributing to your friends and the family during functions like weddings and introductions and condolences during burials, paying other bills like school fees and all that. No wonder by the middle of the month, most corporate or salary earners are broke. Being broke, I've been there myself. I've been broke and I've been broken. I've shared in this book. Chapter 2 is ideally my story of how for three and a half years my salary was all taken. And this is how my financial uh, statement looked like. For three and a half years, a hundred percent of my salary was chopped to get up for loans in the in that financial institutions. Salary comes, it is taken. Salary comes, it is taken for three and a half years. I know that it means to be broke and broken. And what happens? Normally, when we are borrowing money, we don't borrow money because of need. We borrow money because of pressure. And this puts a lot of uh, pressure on us. This puts a lot of stress on us. At the end of the day, personally, I've been stressed. I've been depressed. I have been through anxiety. I've been through mental health crisis because of financial crisis. That's why I want to share with you my experiences in this book, Broke by Choice. I've been able to see how life can be tough. But still there is hope. There is still hope. How did I move through this condition to where I am today is a story for another day. But some of the concepts that I shared are in this book of Broke by Choice. One thing I want to share is even this. As you are going through your days, as you are going through your life, it is good to work, it is good to save money, but the question is, why are you saving that money that you are saving? It has to be very keen, otherwise you might be like me who saves money in the morning, in the evening removes to spend. You need to be clear, why are you saving that money? And two, in terms of your finances, I want to give you a basic math. Basic math, basic math that will turn your finances around. It worked for me and it can also work for you too. It begins with your idea. What idea do you have for a business? What idea do you have for an investment? If the idea is from somebody, you will collapse. Because I have seen it here myself. I got ideas from my friends who gave me this. Ah, this thing works, this thing works. I put in money up to tomorrow. I've never received any money. But I can tell you if the idea comes from you, you have the blueprint. You will be able to move from that idea step by step. Begin with what you have. You can't give what you don't have. So you give what you have. So the point here is begin with what you have. Invest your time wisely, invest your time, invest your resources, but above all, know what you can do based on your ability. When you know your ability, when you know your strengths, you will be able to excel in that business, in that idea, and you will be able to break through. And I have a few concepts here with you that I can share. One of the things is you can only do two things, get a product or get a service. Out of these two, you, you will be able to break through. And the point here is identify who is your target audience, who is your target um, uh, uh, client, who can be able to afford what you are presenting in the marketplace, and above all, what problem are you solving in the marketplace? That is where the issue is, because you can only buy painkiller when you have pain. So definitely people will always ask for your product or for your service if that product or the service is able to help them go from where they are to where they're supposed to be. And above all, if it can take from them from a place of bitterness to where they can be better. So I want to thank you for today's episode. And above all, this book is available. You can get yourself a copy. And above all, let's move together. Uh, even if you are stressed, even if you are depressed because of financial crisis, you can make a turnaround. You can make a difference. And above all, you can move from living in financial crisis to a place where you can enjoy your life. I've been there myself. I know what it means to be having seven-figure debts 
when you you have safe, no savings, you only have loans, you have arrears, scarcity of daily necessities and household uh, items, no tangible assets to show for all the years I've worked. By the way, I've worked for over 10 years. And I can tell you when you look back, sometimes you, you don't say anything that, that you have worked for. But you can make amends. You can still make it. Financial crisis can be a very huge trigger for mental health problems. As a mental health activist, as a mental health advocate, I know what it means when somebody is struggling through mental health problems. But still help is available. Treatment is there for mental illness. And above all, you can still be able to turn the greatest dreams into reality. I want to thank you once again this day. As you launch into the month of July, may the month of July be more profitable. May the month of July bring uh, a change in your life. May the month of July take you to where you are supposed to be. The first half of the year is gone. This second half of the year, may God bless the work of your hands. May God restore whatever has been lost. And above all, may God give you a turning point from this day as you launch into the new second half of the year. Thank you so much. God bless you.